Now, everybody has seen the cover of the fishing guide, the new state muskie, caught by a 14-year-old. Enough of looking at this fishing guide cover. Let's meet the girl who caught this wonderful state record. We wanted to figure out something that we could do as a family, so um, it was between a nature hike or a fishing. Ultimately, we went with fishing. And I had no idea I was going to catch anything like that. And Sarah just starts screaming, and I turn around, I'm, holy cow. <laughs> Look at me, I caught the new Kentucky state record out of uh, Cape Run Lake. How much did that fish actually weigh once you put it on the scales? Um, it weighed 47 pounds. They see that picture almost everywhere now. Probably 15 different magazines that I've been featured in. Um, I mean, a numerous amount of newspapers. Um, um, I got a call from ESPN. All this recognition, do people like come up to you in the grocery store and say, hey, you're the girl on the Oh yeah, um, I mean, I'd be out somewhere and just in the middle of an aisle at the grocery store and people would stop and be like, you're, you're the girl in the magazine. <laughs> you're the big fish girl. That's kind of been my nickname, the big fish girl at school. Yeah, how long have you been looking at this box? Oh, forever. It's been sitting in my stepsister's room for about three weeks. So, so you waited just for Kentucky Field so you could yeah. get this thing in here. And there's a guy she, right she, here. She's been more calm than I have. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not touching. What am I doing? I'm just, I got to stand back. Y'all go to town here. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's oh my huge. I feel like a Christmas day. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, I see the driftwood. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my no, gosh. That's not right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do you it's, realize how big that is? Yeah, it's um, it's beautiful. I think I think he did a great job, and just to see it, it um, really takes me back to the day I caught it. It really does it justice. I've took took for granted all these years what we have here in our right backyard, here. with the uh, three reservoirs and the many streams that we have opportunities to from the northeast part of the state all the way down to the southeast. We have no reason to go anywhere else to fish. We're not going to have enough muskie by natural reproduction, so we do. That's why we do stock these lakes. Correct. Correct. Cave Run, in particular, gets 2,800 muskie per year, and they average about 13.2 inches in wow. length. How long does it take to, to get a muskie up to a, a nice size? Uh, a, a nice size. 35 inches. 35 inches or so. Generally speaking, probably five years. So that's a lot of investment. When they caught that fish, what I found fascinating was this. The first thing that entered their mind was get the hook out and get it back in the water and revive it. You catch the fish, you put it right back in so it can grow. Um, but when we tried to release her, she kept going belly up. We worked for her for about 45 minutes and that's when we made the decision to keep her. I wonder how many times that fish that Sarah just caught had been caught before. And last year we just had an absolute banner year. Uh, 50 inch fish is our benchmark and that is internationally and I know that we caught 12, 15 in the fall, 50 inches or bigger in this particular area and I attribute that to two things, the catch and release program and the stocking program with Kentucky's Fish and Wildlife. Now there's something interesting about this, how old is the fish? It was 14 when I caught it. Now that's kind of cool. Well that is the oldest fish that I'm aware of from Cave Run Lake. 14 years old, how do we know that? We know that because starting in 1989, then concluding in 1997, we clipped different fins each year with no clip being somewhere in that process. And each clip correspond to a certain year. So we could tell that by this fish where it had its fin clipped. Generally speaking in the lake, the average lifespan is probably around nine years. guys know that you caught a fish bigger than they'll probably ever catch in their life. Yeah. Do they give you a rough time um, or do you give them a rough time? Well, some of them, you know, they kind of be like, well, you know, I caught a fish bigger than that, but I'll yeah. let it go. 
<laughs> um, I know most of that's lie. And I was, yeah, where's the pictures? Yeah. Um, I kind of give them a hard time because I know that, you know, they give me a hard time because I'm a girl. They don't always, people are kind of stereotypical and they don't think girls like to get out in the outdoors and go fishing or hunting, but yeah, we do. It's about a beautiful young lady who done a remarkable feat. I don't think I've ever screamed that loud before or I've, I don't think I've ever said, oh my gosh, as many times. It's truly been an experience. It's not gotten old. Now, can you think of anybody in the state who deserves to catch that fish more than her? And Sarah also credits her dad, Tim Terry, with getting her into fishing at an early age and her Meemaw, or Mama, I'm not sure which, for taking her out frog gigging at an early age.